We want to determine if the series converges or diverges. We're going to be looking at a comparison test and typically the functions that you want to use as comparison functions would be p-series or geometric series that you know the convergence of easily. Well let's first consider if we had 3 to the n and compare that to 3 to the n plus 2 and we could see that 3 to the n is always going to be less than 3 to the n plus 2. We have you know n being the positive integers and so if I took reciprocals 1 over 3 to the n is going to be greater than 1 over 3 to the n plus 2. So if I was looking at terms in a series, these terms would always be greater than these terms. Now if I looked at the series as n goes from 1 to infinity of 1 over 3 to the n, and I'm just expressing it a little differently so we can easily see that this is a convergent this converges, this is a convergent geometric series. We know that we have a geometric series and the absolute value of the common ratio, in this case is one third, is less than one, then the geometric series converges. Now, if this series converges and these terms are always greater than these terms in the series, then we know that this series would also converge, the series that was made from having these terms, so this would be, look like this, and the reason we would know that is because this, or this series converges to a finite number, and so it could be an upper bound for this series, and so if this one converges, so does this one. Well, that's not quite what we have. It almost is, but we simply have a 5 here, but we could see we could multiply this by 5 here and here, and this inequality would still hold, and so we could multiply this by 5 as well, and so by the comparison test, the series we're given converges because this comparison series here, geometric one, is convergent.